Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Tuesday, September 21st. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice easy winner with Devontae Adams over 84 and a half receiving yards at minus 115 on DraftKings. Adams had 100 plus after three quarters, and it was really never in doubt. So a nice sweat free winner there in the NFL. Looking for another winner here on Tuesday. However, of course, there's no football on, so we're going to be going back to baseball. We're going to be looking at a matchup between two division rivals in the AL West as the Astros take on the Angels at around 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play today, we like the Astros team total over four and a half runs at minus 135 on DraftKings. Time recording of 2.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering's why like the Astros team total in this spot. First of all, Houston has been swinging the bats really well lately as the Astros have scored at least seven runs in four of their last six games. Plus, Houston won the series opener 10-0, which shouldn't be that surprising because Houston has been phenomenal offensively on the road this season. The Astros are averaging 5.39 runs per road game, which is the most in the entire league. Meanwhile, you have Packy Naughton on the mound for Los Angeles. The last three appearances have not gone too well. 11 and one-third innings pitched. 5.56 ERA, so I think he's going to struggle against this very talented offense. Plus, Naughton has really struggled going length this season as he was a reliever converted into a starter, as Naughton has not pitched more than five innings flat in an appearance. He's only done that once, so you should expect him to go around three or four innings in this spot before the bullpen comes in, and that is a bit of a problem for the Angels because the Angels have a 4.66 bullpen ERA, which is the seventh highest in the entire league. So even if Nolan pitches decently, he shouldn't pitch too long, and the Angels' bullpen can easily give up a bunch of runs against this team. But I do think the Astros should fare pretty well against Nolan, who has struggled lately. I think they'll probably score two or three against him before teeing off against this bullpen. Plus, the wind is also beneficial to the over here as the wind is blowing out to right center field at about six miles per hour, which could turn a couple of long fly balls into home runs. So with uh, that all being said, I'm going to back one of the hotter teams offensively lately against a very underwhelming pitching staff. And at four and a half at minus 135, I'm going to take that to the banks. Play that once again here for Tuesday, September 21st is going to be on the Astros team total over four and a half runs at minus 135 on DraftKings. Bye everyone.